Yes! 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 Now it should be on her right. I'm Angie Trinan and Ellen and I own the corn maze, the Trinan farm and um, I'm the corn maze designer and the marketing person and the hiring person and pretty much everything that involves not farming. I'm Alan Trinan, um, the farmer, I'm the third generation on the farm. I till the ground, plant the maize, uh, cut the maize, set up the mailboxes and all the uh, stuff to make the maze work. Everybody believes it's cut with GPS and it's not. We lay out a grid and stake it out every 15 feet at a time and we use paint and little surveyor's flags to mark it. We mow the trails and then rototill them. I've had people ask me if we do a new a different pattern every year which which we do and it, it it's a kind of a big deal for us to pick out a design and um, a theme. Usually when I do the maze design, I want I want the central figure, you know, whether it's a trilobite or a unicorn uh, or a crane, but then I have to think about all the, the different levels um, that we will also include so there's good stories for the staff to tell. In 2001, it was a horse and cart. 2002 was a woolly mammoth. 2003 was uh, a dragon. 2004 was a pirate ship. 2005 was the cat and the fiddle. 2006 was a Tyrannosaurus Rex. 2007 was an enchanted castle. 2008 was a dragonfly. 2009 was a mermaid. 2010 was a gecko. 2011 was the myth uh, Icarus. Uh, 2012 was uh, the um, Da Vinci's Vitruvian Man. 2013 was the Kraken, which is a mythical squid creature. Um, 2014 was the Owl of Athena. 2015 was the Fox and the Grapes, which is the, an Aesop's fable. 2016 was Rainbow's Kittens and Killer Baby Unicorns. 2017 was a Trilobite. 2018 was the Elephant's Child, which is the story of how the elephant got his trunk. 2019 is the Dance of the Cranes. My deadline for knowing what the design is going to be and starting to get some things on either paper or illustrator is the day that Alan plants the corn maze. So he'll plant the corn maze usually the first week of June. And so then I'm like, okay, my mental clock is ticking. I've got about 10 days before he's going to want the design. Then I have to give him the final design. So I'll show him some drafts. He was not super excited about this maze. Like it goes, goes down here and then it kind of makes it kind of a um, swoopy line or that this one is blunted or like um, these are, some are curved and some are blunted. I'm like, do not fix those. These have to be just as they're drawn. If they become regular, they you don't get the same effect. So he's like, okay, okay. I'm like, no, seriously, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go out there with the drone. <laughs> and if this is not right, I'm gonna make you do it again. Basically, as soon as the corn's out of the ground, we will start setting out stakes for our grid, and we go out there with um, our plan and uh, marking paint, upside down marking can paint, um, and uh, little surveyor's flags and we'll start laying it out. I'm laying out the part of the wing and I just painted because there's a little bit of an arc here. So then when I mow, I know that there's an arc and it's not just a straight line. Anytime um, on our grid on a map, anytime the trail crosses a line, um, we find that point and lay that out. If they are new at laying the maze out, um, I'll have two people working and actually I'll start them and have them work towards each other because then if they don't meet, somebody messed up. Then we will 
you know, mow those trails. There are several companies uh, in the United States that will design and cut your maze for you. Um, 19 years ago, we looked into it and it was $8,000. But uh, if I've got a good crew out there, we can have it done in four or five days. Mowing it is one thing, rototilling it is another, because the, the tractor and the rototiller is not as nimble. You know, you can get a zero turn mower out there and do anything you want. But we have to rototill the trails to kill the corn and to level them so that we get, you know, people in wheelchairs or whatever, but, you know, to take out the ridges. Angie has never helped lay it out. And, um, yes, everybody's expressed frustration at parts of the design. Angie's logic was, if I were to worry about the, how hard it was going to be to cut, I wouldn't design a good maze. Once it gets to a certain point, I can get a good photo of it and start promoting it. It looks really good. They, I, I haven't checked to see if they've forgotten any trails yet. There's probably going to be a, you know, one or two. Um, but it's looking really good from the air. It's, it's, every now and then we have um, design, you know, that gets laid out kind of weird and it doesn't look like the plan from the air. So then we'll need to go into the field and correct it. But I'm not seeing anything like that this year. I think we should go down the neck. neck. So this one? We did this. Okay. Yeah. Mom, we don't want to lose you. We're out. Woohoo! We made Woo it. Yeah.